Hi, welcome to Book Buzz, brought to you by the Peters Township Public Library. Yes, it feels really different to be here alone. I wanted to have like that song in the background that says like, alone again, naturally, or there was another song I was thinking, but as you can see, Miss Shannon is not here. She is off for the summer, um, taking care of her new baby girl. So we wish the best for Miss Shannon, but um, and we look forward to having her back soon and healthy. So I'm starting off with, now last time I was kind of playing with a squid hat. I mean, I even put uh, Miss Shannon's squid hat like uh, right beside me on a, um, on the chair but so this time this is for July since we are doing July and bringing all the programs to you about it I found this really cool and of course um, I think it was I want to say probably the dollar store but I thought oh my gosh how festive so while I was getting ready I was kind of like just playing with this and um, so it's one of those it's a glow headband so I thought for July and I know you're supposed to, you have to break these or something to get it to light up that I would put together a fun glow, red, white, and blue glow headband. I don't see this one glowing so much, but we'll see what we can do. In the meantime, while I'm putting together my uh, headband prop, let's talk about how the summer reading program is going. Let me just put it this way, one word, insane, absolutely insane in a good way. We are having so much fun. It's so busy. It is pre-pandemic busy and we are so happy and so relieved to see everybody back. Um, so talking about that, if you have not already registered for the summer reading program, please do so. It is never too late. You're going to go into our um, onto our website or stop by and pick up a summer reading brochure and you are going to download an app called Beanstack. When you've done that and you answer all the questions and you know get logged in, you're going to start keeping track of your reading. All of your reading um, for the um, older, like for elementary and up, uh, you're counting your minutes and minutes turn into points and all your points get added up to um, to a nice grand finale of winning a basket at the end of the summer. I, as a matter of fact, I believe that those are gonna be going out the third week of August. So we want to make sure that you're registered and you have a chance to win. Why am I saying that? Well, number one, it's fun. And if you're a reader anyway, why wouldn't you like track your minutes and try to win a basket? And just to give you a heads up, we have over a hundred baskets just in the children's department. Um, so your chances are really good. Now, I don't wanna to forget to say, as I'm working on these, I don't see these red ones lighting up very well. Um, the reading program is for all ages. It's um, from zero all the way through adult and um, there are prizes for the adults as well. And you wonder, well, zero, well, because you, you need to read to them and we want you to read to your children. So that's included as well. Now, when you're doing, no, I'm going to have to be silly here and maybe follow directions, I'm not sure. Um, what, so when you are reading your stories, I don't know, okay. This is kind of like one of those walking and chewing gum, you know, can you do all that or at the same time? Um, when you are reading to a child, you are going to, for like the toddlers and the little ones, you are going to count books and not minutes. So um, what you're, the thing about children is with the toddlers especially, they want to read the same book over and over and over and over. And you know, a board book takes all about mm, one minute to read. And then it's more, mom, I want to read it some more. Read it, read it, read it. I don't know if I'm going to get this thing together. Anyway, um, reading the same book a million times is the same as reading. So read it. It doesn't matter if it's the same book over and over again. The most important thing with this is logging your time. 
you want to log the time. Also, I'm just, you know, trying to get this to go. Um, also, uh, logging your time, there are bonus um, opportunities within, as an example. In the children's one, it may say, um, read a book outside. So if you've read a book outside, then you click on that and you get extra bonus points. Or it may say, um, read a book about a whale. So come in, check out a book about a whale, click on that, and you've got your bonus points for um, reading a book about a whale. So anyway, I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time on this, but at least I wanted to get something up and going. There we go. Looks more like bunny ears, doesn't it? So we'll just set it like that. I guess my attempt to be festive is eh, marginal at best. All right, moving on. We started our backyard story times. Oh my gosh. So our first one was, um, was uh, with Miss Patty and I, and um, we have uh, Miss Morgan, who is our summer intern. It's been a lot of fun. First one was pirates. What a blast. We had so much fun. These kids were walking the plank. They were fishing for gold pieces in a pirate ship. It was so much fun. So if you missed that one, then you need to get on and register for another one. Now for the backyard story times, you have to um, register individually for each program. So just registering for one gets you in that one but not all of them, okay? So you have to keep trying. Let's just put it this way. We want to share the love and get as many people an opportunity to, to see and participate in the programs as, um, as we can. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, so having said that, let me give you a cue or a clue on what themes are coming up. Okay, if you missed the Pirates theme, we are going to be doing the beach, all right? That, now, these are on Tuesday mornings outside behind the library. We've got these beautiful tables, umbrellas. We put tarps on the ground. The kids sit down and um, just enjoy a story time and activities. And, of course, we have a craft. They made uh, pirate hats, which was a lot of fun. And they had the patch. So, and Miss Patty and I looked kind of pirate-ish as well when I figured out which way the hat goes on. I was a little hat challenged that day. So, we have the beach coming up, followed by we will be doing whales. I look forward to that. I just, well, I'll talk about whales later when we talk about the tween book club. Um, then followed by mermaids, and uh, the last Tuesday of the month will be sea creatures. They, like I said, they will all be outside unless the weather's really bad. Then we'll pull it inside into our multi-purpose room, but it will be the same morning. So it's either going to be outside or inside, but we are going to have it. So please be there. Um, trying to get some clean glasses here. So, well, I was saying, well, if we talk about whales, um, the Tween Book Club uh, we just had our June meeting and we talked about um, our, uh, our book, our read for the month. And it was about, it was about orca whales in the Salish Sea outside of, um, outside of Canada. Um, it's called A Whale of the Wild. And a great discussion, a lot of fun. So it kind of set us up for our, our theme, our summer reading. Well, this month we are going to be reading Midsummer's Mayhem by Rajani LaRocca. And uh, it's just like when I was thinking about summer, I was thinking about beach reads or like something light. It's a little thicker. The font is big, but it's, it's just a light story to read this summer. 11-year-old Mimi Maxson comes from a big Indian American family. Now the youngest of four she feels invisible, but her dream of proving herself seems possible when she enters a contest at the brand new bakery in town. 
But when Mimi's dad, a renowned food writer, mysteriously loses his highly honed sense of taste, oh geez, can you imagine being a, a food critic and not being able to taste? She worries she'll never be able to bake something impressive enough to propel her to gastronomic fame, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it goes on, it's going to be fun. Uh, and I just wanted to say, and this takes place in Massachusetts, um, which I just got back from. I just got back from Boston. Uh, good book, fun, Midsummer's Mayhem. Um, you must register online, and I thank you for that. In this summer, we are having, now, if this isn't the draw, I always say, and Miss Shannon and I would always tease, if you have food, they'll come. We are having like summer treats. Um, at the last one, we had like ice cream cups and ice cream sandwiches. Um, next month will be some more goodies. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe, well, if I can bribe you, maybe make your own Sundays. We'll see. All right. So anyway, this month's book, come and check it out. With the tween and the teen book clubs, if you were one of the first five to register, you get a complimentary copy of it. Um, I, as of today's filming, the first five were done, already taken. So, um, but still register, come and check it out. I have a couple extra copies in circulation and um, enjoy some summer reading. And that will meet um, Thursday, July 28th at 4 p.m. at the library. Okay, so that is that. Well, if we're reading for the summer reading uh, program, uh, the Teen Choice Book Club, they chose their book. Now, this early in July, I think it's coming up, July, I wanna say 7th, okay. Yeah, Saturday, July 7th, they will be discussing the book that they should have been reading all month, which is called Not If I Save You First. And the front says, find the boy, save the boy, kiss, kill, make the boy pay for what he did to you. Ooh, this is what they're going to be talking about this month, okay? But what you want to do is come in and start reading for the next month. So when you get together at the first Saturday in um, in August, you are going to be reading, okay, you know, it looks kind of dark to me, well, maybe just because it's the dark cover, but it's called The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken, now a major motion picture. Now, the uh, Teen Choice Book Club is a book club that the teens are choosing what they want to read, okay? And this is the one that they chose. And it is when, uh, um, the gist of it is, when Ruby woke up on her 10th birthday, something about her had changed. Something alarming enough to make her parents lock her in the garage and call the police. Ouch. Now, something that got her sent to Thurmond, a brutal government rehabilitation camp. She might have survived the mysterious disease that killed most of America's children, but she and the others emerged with something far worse, frightening abilities they cannot control. Now, 16, Ruby is one of the dangerous ones, but when the truth about Ruby's abilities, the truth she's kept hidden from everyone, there's always secrets, aren't there? Uh, even the camp authorities, so even they didn't know. When the secrets come out, Ruby barely escapes Thurman with her life. On the run, she joins a group of kids who have escaped their own camp. Um, there, while they journey to find one safe haven left for kids like them in the East River, they must evade their determined pursuers. Looks and sounds crazy. It does. One of those real kind of spooky, spooky, uh, with a lot of twists, it sounds like. So, um... There are still copies of this available. If you register, you can come in and get a complimentary copy while supplies last, of course. That is The Darkest Minds. 
Yay, Teen Book Club. All right, the babies are back with Miss Patty. What can we say? I love, 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 always love the baby programs. You know, when we get um, you to come into the library, I love the fact when the kids come in as babies because um, book babies is zero to 12 months um, and suggested ages, 12 months to 24 months for Mother Goose. Um, these programs are basically about 20 minutes in length, give or take, you know, for some um, just running time as the kids will do. A lot of fun, a lot of bouncing stories, riddles, rhymes, felt boards, singing, everything that Ms. Uh, Patty can do. She's a riot. The kids love it. And like I said, we love having them come in as babies and go all the way through all of the programs up through and come back as adults. Although there are stories where if you, you know, if you don't see somebody for a really long time and then they come in and you go and they look at you and they go, Miss Linda. And then you all of a sudden it registers that, you know, this person young man as a matter of fact it just happened the other day like and you're going oh my gosh I've known you since you know and now is this grown man uh, about ready to go into college um grown young man okay moving right along you get to keep listening to me okay teen made tween made this has been such a fun program. There are, Miss Beth, who runs this program, is extremely creative. Boy, talk about making, you know, me feel challenged. You just go, oh boy, she is good and she's very creative and comes up with cool things. So I do not have a sample of it, but I've seen them do it before. Um, it's quilled sea creatures and quilled is they do it with like the paper, you know, and then they, they, they take these little papers and I think that's what they're doing and rolling it and, and turning it into different things. So cool, so cool. Teen made, tween made, quilled sea creatures. That is going to be uh, Friday, July 8th. And uh, there's two separate times. Uh, one o'clock till two o'clock, we get those tweens in, and from 2.30 to 3.30, we get the teens. So we hope to see you there. Again, another successful program that fills. So if you want to wanna get a uh, spot in that, get online and register. Okay. Another program I brought back just for a couple times this summer. Now, before the pandemic we used to have wild crap wednesdays um every week and with part well partnering with our friends at wqed they would get me all kinds of fun stuff from the wild about the wild crowds everything from um worksheets to stickers sometimes we're able to get like viewings of the, like newest episodes before they're actually aired etc so um, we would have everybody come in. I'd come Wild Crap Wednesdays. You would bring your lunch and you would come in and just have a picnic and um, enjoy your lunch while watching a Wild Kratts episode. Who doesn't love the Wild Kratts and all of their um, the animal antics, you know, and how much fun that they have and how much we learn. So it is back. We've had one already, totally successful. It was wonderful. We have one more coming up for the summer, and that is Wednesday, July 13th at noon. And we are doing sharks. I even brought in, I just even love this, co this cover, sharks. This is a um, early reader book that we call them, a level one reading together, but it's called Sharks. Gotta love it, got to love it. We love the sharks, love the picture. Um, this is, uh, of course, who, who does this one? This is, because some of these are like National Geographic. These ones 
are called Engage Books. Um, Animals That Make a Difference is the series. And they have a lot of books in this series. But just as an example, Sharks at Wild Kratts. All right, you're gonna have fun. You'll have some information and do something and learn something about sharks. When my kids were growing up, you have to learn all of this. One of our favorite things to do was watch Shark Week. I know it has a huge following. Who doesn't love Shark Week? So that is what we will be doing at Wild Kratts, um, Wednesday, July 13th. All right, we are getting into some really special programming. This programming is brought to you by the Carnegie Science Center and of course your Peters Township Public Library. Um, We are sponsoring these programs and you are invited to register and attend free of charge. We are taking care of it and boy are these programs good. But I want to say before we talk about them, You have to be, and we're gonna go through the list, you have to be registered for the summer reading program in order to attend these. We wanted to make it special for those that are participating. So if you have registered and you are not part of the summer reading program, you're probably gonna hear from us that, you know, join the summer reading program, which is totally free and totally easy to do, Um, or, you know, we have to pull you off and put in somebody that is part of the summer reading program. Just want to clarify that. Sunken Treasure Science. Love it, love it, love it. Could you imagine? We even did this. I mean, I could even go the whole gamut and put on my eye patch and everything, but then I wouldn't be able to see. But can you imagine going and finding a treasure? They are going to talk about it. And here, I've got my own. We even did treasure. We let the the kids um, uh, uh, fish, I guess, for gold. So you are going to talk about sunken treasure science. Okay, Thursday, July 14th, 6.30 p.m. Again, you must be registered for the summer reading program. Have a chance to see and touch real sunken treasure and learn about a famous treasure fleet sunk by storms in 1715. This is four grades, kindergarten through fifth. And then while you're there, this is so cool. Can you see what I see? The... um, treasure ship and uh, Geronimo Stilton of course has the search for the sunken treasure so we've got some fun books for that Um, sunken treasure science again get online and register coming up after that well in case that wasn't enough this is all on Okay, this will all be on our website if if I'm going too fast. Um, Make animal tracks. Also, you know, it'll be um, available to see on here. Make animal tracks with the Carnegie Science Center's mobile fab lab team and discover both technological and natural worlds by using CAD software to create laser cut animal tracks. That is Friday, July 15th at 10 a.m., again, for kindergarten through second. Now, this makes me want to remember, the programs that are for kindergarten through fifth, and this one's kindergarten through second, we are asking that you only sign up for one. We only want you to sign up for one of these programs if your child is that age again so that we can spread the love and get more kids in it Um, having the same people take up all the spots just um, isn't fair to everybody else and we really want want to make this work and make it a lot of fun okay so you will be choosing one of those so I kept thinking of animal tracks so like if you could make a laser cut out of these like I have a grizzly bear track and a moose track There you go. There you go. So I'm wondering, 
if you're making laser ones of those. And then while you're there, of course, pick out your books. Moving along, we're making animal tracks. Then we are going to make a dinosaur skeleton with the Carnegie Science Center's mobile fab lab again. Design your own laser cut dinosaur skeleton. And of course I have books on dinosaurs. This one happens to be um, facts, things to make and activities so that if you don't get into that program, you can check out the book. If you do get into that program, you can still check out the book and continue your education. Uh, you are going to design your own laser cut dinosaur skeletons again using CAD software. Attendees may have the opportunity to swap pieces to create their own hybrid dinosaurs. How cool is that? Hybrid dinosaurs. I like it. So that is the dinosaur skeleton. Moving along, we're going to have 3D printing the entertainment of tomorrow with the Carnegie Science Centers. Once again, the mobile fab lab. Um, you are going to work together in teams. Um, this is grade 7th through 12th. You're going to work in teams to learn how animators work together to use 3D CAD software to develop characters and settings for video games. So I brought a video game, okay? I'm not really like a video game person, but I am amazed and mesmerized how they do this. You know, how do you do all of that? How do you get things in there and get them to move? Well, you're going to find out because you're going to learn how you work together to uh, develop characters and settings for video games, television shows, and movies. That's Friday, July 15th, 1 p.m., 7th through 12th grade. Again, we are asking that you join the summer reading program, especially the teens for this program. Hate to see you miss it. Last one, last big one from the Carnegie Science Center. Make your own glider. Join the Carnegie Science Center's mobile fab lab again. Now this is for grades third through sixth. So we've tried to catch every grade level. All right, um, you are going to learn how to design using computer-aided design, which is CAD um, software, and fabricate a flying glider. Um, so I brought a book. If you don't get it right there, you can uh, check out a book called Planes and Other Flying Things. So if you learned on this, and um, want to learn some more, you can check this out um, just to do it even manually, not with a CAD system. And um, otherwise, we've got lots and lots of resources for you and for all of these programs. So those are the programs that are coming up with the Carnegie Science Center, and it's all free to you. So we ask you, get online, register. And again, please be sure that you are registered for the summer reading program. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're reading anyway, it just takes a few minutes to just log your information in so that you can get recognized for that. All right. So, wow, that was a lot of stuff. I think I'm going to have time. I'm going to show you just one book. But since we were talking about sharks, um, for wild crats, this is a cute one. This is a new book. It's called Mako and Tiger, Two Not-So-Friendly Sharks by Scott Rothman. And I think you'll have a lot of fun reading this. And while they're showing that, let me just see if I can find something cute. Mako was starving. He hadn't eaten in two whole minutes. Luckily, he saw something to eat. And this made Mako happy because he loved to eat things. But when he swam toward it, a shark named Tiger, who also loved to eat things, came and ate it instead. Luckily, Mako saw something else to eat. So, Mako and Tiger, two not-so-friendly sharks. All right. So, until next time, this was Book Buzz, and I look forward to telling you what's happening with the rest of July. See you then.